First, ensure that the unit is placed stably and powered on. Use a USB cable capable of data transfer to connect the unit to your computer. Then, press the global button to enter the global settings menu. Make sure that on the second page of USB audio, the USB mode is set to normal. Finally, scroll down to the about section to check and record the current firmware version. This will be needed later. Next, go to the official Valeton website. At the top of the page, click on support and then download. You'll need to download the latest firmware that matches your unit's model, as well as the latest software compatible with your computer system. If this is your first time connecting the unit to your computer, you'll also need to download and install the latest ASIO driver to ensure proper connectivity. Once the downloads are complete, don't close the web page just yet. In addition to the latest software and firmware, this update process also requires an older version of the software to assist with installation. Remember the firmware version you checked earlier? Now check whether you have the corresponding older version of the software installed on your computer. You can refer to the firmware downloads page on the website. For example, if your current firmware version is V1.63 and the page indicates that this firmware is compatible with software version V1.60, then you'll need to confirm whether version 1.60 of the software is installed on your computer. If you already have this software but aren't sure of the version, you can open it. The version number is displayed at the top of the window. As long as it matches the required version, you're good to go. If everything has gone smoothly so far, you should now have the version 1.7 software and firmware zip files, as well as the older version of the software installed that corresponds to your current firmware version. Next, double-click the new firmware zip file and extract the .bin firmware file. Then open the older version of the software. Once the connection is successfully established, click the wrench icon in the top right corner to enter Settings. Then click Firmware Upgrade. Load the extracted firmware file and click Update Now. A prompt will appear reminding you to back up your presets. If you have any presets you wish to save, click Cancel and return to the main interface to export them. You can return to this step afterward to proceed. Click Continue to start the firmware update. At this point, make sure the unit is stable and do not touch the USB cable to avoid data interruption. Wait for a moment until the software returns to the main interface. This indicates that the firmware update has been completed. After successfully updating the firmware, uninstall the older software version and install the new version. Launch the new software. If 1.70 is displayed at the top, the installation was successful. Additionally, five new SnapTone slots will appear in both the DST and AMP modules. You can right-click to import, delete or rename .nam files. With that, both the software and firmware updates are complete.